Hello and many thanks for joining the first edition of Journalist Hangout this week. I'm Ayodili Uzubakun. Today on the program, APC crisis deepens in Kaduna as a faction of sus suspend Governor Nasiru Erufai for six months. Police draft fresh mobile units to Zamfara as governor attacks security agencies. And later on the program, IBB challenges PDP leaders to provide better choice for Nigerians. I'll be hanging out with Mathint Oloja, Adekunle Yusuf, and Tunde Abaton. So if you're ready, let the hangout start now. Thanks for joining us again. The All Progressive Congress in Kaduna State is one house that is standing on a shaky foundation. A faction of the party has suspended the governor of the state, that is Malam Nasir Arufai. Hmm. You say, <laughs> over what it calls anti-party and anti-human activities. Hmm. The faction wielded the big stick barely three days after suspending three of his aides and issuing him a query. What is really happening in the All Progressive Congress in Kaduna States? Now, Adekunle Yusuf, let me start from you. But I know we have the Akida faction and we have the faction of the people loyal to the governor, Nasir Arafai, and the Akida faction, you know, you have uh, Senator Shil Sani and yes, I know. the National Vice Chairman. And, um, Last week, sometimes last week, the governor's faction actually suspended like 24 of um, Shil Sani's faction. They expelled some outrightly. Some were given six months suspension and what have you. Now, I thought Nasi Erufa is meant to be the party leader who has the kind of uh, power, that strength, power to suspend a sitting governor and how valid will this suspension be? If you are taking interest in the politics of Kaduna since uh, Rufai took over, you will know that uh, what is happening, we just, we just laugh over it. It's something that is expected in the sense that why you want to say the APC is emerged in crisis in virtually all the states of the federation except lagos even lagos is debatable no 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 ah. lagos okay. is okay. Mm -hmm. when we say crisis okay. when okay. when you there is, a, there is no way you have a family of five ten twenty okay they don't have let alone factions. thousands they that you won't have lagos little little but when you are saying crisis some hmm. that appear totally you know resolvable I'm talking about places like Kaduna. If you trace how Erufai emerged as the governor, uh, governorship candidate of APC, mm. it was like, I won't say a stranger, but it's not a Kaduna-based politician. Position. So you have the Nkui, you have the Malam, Sheu Sonia, and many other you know, political gladiators. Mm. Now you have the Akida faction. That's the, state, that's the authentic APC, according to them. That's led by mm -hmm. Sheo Sonny. You have the Unkui faction. If you know Unkui, Unkui is a popular grassroots politician. Mm. In the Kaduna deputy state. national chairman. He's extremely popular in Kaduna State. Mm. He's the one that defeated McAfee. You know, McAfee was in the Senate. Mm -hmm. He was commissioner at the time, but he defeated McAfee. He's so now, you also have the RFI. Naturally, the governor will have his own supporters. In Kaduna State, like every state, you have three senators. PDP got one. Then RFI started very early, having you know issues with Shil Sonny. People thought that uh, with time, with time, he was getting along within the time. I mean, initially with Unkui before they fell apart. You now, the question I have is. With the way the state, the state of your affairs now, Erufai, whether he likes to contest again or he does not, his party will have to face PDP in Kaduna State, which is extremely popular in Kaduna. 
Don't let anybody, you know, deny that. Now, the same party that we face a formidable opposition is facing an implosion within. One of them is the, you know, Shehusani faction. One of them is the Hukui faction. So, like, now you are having, like, three formidable, you know, political opponents mm. to yourself. I'm talking about APC. So now what I see is that the cup of Ashiwaju is actually full now. People expect the man to perform wonders. <laughs> Kaduna is one of the places that we test the political wizardry of Ashiwaju. Because what you have in Kaduna is so difficult. Like what you what they did in Sokoto, he was <laughs> able to bring Aminu Tambuwa together with uh, my, uh, governor, um, former governor Wamako under the same roof and the, they exchange the, you can't photographs compare, and you, everything. You can compare the problems in, in Shokoto. Yes, I'm saying, can are. they achieve that in Kaduna? <laughs> under the same roof, Sheo Sani and Erufai. <laughs> you, see, the, you see the bitterness hmm. of Senator Nkui and Sheo Sani against Erufai. I think no one should judge anybody, but the governor who is expected to be the leader of everybody. I think my advice is you should just look at himself in the mirror. What am I really doing right? You are not a retired soldier. If everybody is accusing you of dictatorship, of everything, then you need to mellow that now. You hey guys, inclusiveness is not uh, something that, you know, can be done away with if you want to run democracy. Everybody, as much as you can, should be brought on board mm. because Erufai didn't win that governorship alone. He leveraged on mm. human beings mm -hmm. like himself. Martins, when you look at the situation in Kaduna States and you want to look at the APC, the bigger picture, and Erufai is one of, I can say this, you know, that Erufai will be one of the eggheads when you talk about APC National now and one of the strategists for the All Progressive Congress. That I know. If they want to choose people that are thinking for the party. Yes. And it's so strategic and I know it's close to Mr. President. And that was why he was the chairman of the restructuring committee of the party. He worked with uh, a Senator Adetumbi yes. from Ikiti uh, State. From Ikiti State. Yes. That, uh, Ikiti, is it a South? Uh, uh, yes. Uh, uh, but you know, State, you know yes. it's, it's Ikiti, Ikiti State. Actually, uh, you know, <laughs> Erufai, Erufai is uh, a controversial person. And he is not new to controversy and he's not afraid of controversy. Mm. You know, right from the time from, uh, from PDP and FCT minister to that place. Yes, you are right. From that, BPE. Uh, he, yes, okay. uh, from BPE yes. to PDP and mm -hmm. PDP as minister of FCT, FCT and to the present position. You know, the issue is not just about Erufai and this Sheh Usane. You know, Sheh Usane that is also... Uh, warning, you know, all of them have uh, one thing or the other to lose instead of just uh, dancing around. Because this, <laughs> this 2019 election is not, is going to be an election like no other. Hmm. And if, as uh, it is written, the house is divided against itself in hmm. Kaduna State, hmm. as uh, he has said, they are going to reap the consequences hmm. of this division. Yes, the uh, uh, Erufai is not, uh, he didn't reply uh, the query issued him. And then uh, Sheh Hussani, you know, Sheh Hussani is not a small boy. He, 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 you can see his baby face. Civil rights activist. <laughs> he's a civil rights activist that notes. is more than 20 years. Mm, and he's a grassroots person. He knows people. So wha what they will do to help themselves is to come together. You know, and look at the supremacy yes. of the party that we are just learning from. We thank God for mm, social South media Africa. and other, from South Africa. Mm. That the party is supreme. Whether you are governor, and that, that is actually the problem we have here now. The governor wants to see himself as the leader, as we always call them. The president is the leader, and the, they are the supreme. The, is no longer the party. They, they are this the, is the, they are the <laughs> constituted authority. Oh, the, they are the authority. <laughs> yes, yes. They are the authority our, our because states. of the fact <laughs> that we do not have <laughs> this party organizational uh, knowledge. Hmm. People do not pay their party membership dues. This is what they were using for action group and all those yes, Asian parties yes, that were powerful. Power action mm. group. 
a, a, a G, uh, uh, Northern the, Progressive, yeah. uh, whatever, yeah. whether NEP or all those things like that. <laughs> people were proud of the because ma of uh, they were all stakeholders. Yes, membership, membership card. card. But mm. they paid their membership due. Recently, mm. somebody pulled out membership uh, card of uh, Chief Obafemi, the late Chief Obafemi uh, Awolowo, yes. and the number. Yeah. They, they, yeah. they shared yeah. it. So people were proud. They would keep membership card. They, they were using, but now it's monetization of politics. And the, 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 the chairman, the governor is the, the best, leader. The, the person with the deepest pockets. Yes, the, the president is the, is, is the leader general, of the party. Because move. at the end of the day, when they are talking of party organization, whatever, they, they, somebody has to approve money. Because nobody pays a membership fee, no membership anything. They don't raise funds. Here is the governors that are in power. These are issues we have to resolve in Nigeria. Supremacy of the party. Mm -hmm. Just listen to what Zuma we, we can demonize him, we can say so many things about him. He didn't agree with what they did, but he said the supremacy of the party mm. should be respected. And what the party did, uh, said, he had to do. He had to step down. Yes. But it, that kind of thing will not happen here. So I think that we need to grow. If, we, if democracy must grow, if Nigeria must develop, all these people should respect the fact that, as I have said repeatedly here, party issue is a constitutional issue. Mm. Unless you are a member of a political party, mm. you cannot be anything. You can't get anywhere. You mm. must be a member. And they should organize this to be ideologically driven. Driven. All right, Tunde Abaton, what is happening in the All Progressive Congress? What is your interpretation? Because we know it's just a year to the election. Just let's put I it like that. I, like Martins have said, when you make an observation of the practice of party politics in Nigeria. Ideas have been pushed aside. A situation whereby a young man from Lagos will come and will go to Ogun State or go to your state six months to the election. Mm. The day he pays a visit to the party headquarters, he will give them 500 million. He has mm. taken over the party. Okay. Unlike the, during the Second Take Republic, like I've, I've said mm -hmm. it here, during the Second Republic, you dare not print a poster until you have emerged the candidate of your party. Yes. In fact, people donating money to the party, they donate money to the covers of the party. Yes. The party will now use that money for whoever emerges as the candidate Candidates. of the party after the party primaries. But now, I think the problem with uh, Kaduna State and many others in Nigeria is that unfortunately, I will put it at the doorstep of President Buhari, like I have said, is the, the leader of the party all over Nigeria. The moment the, he assumed office, they burnt their bridges. They pocket the party. The aides around the president did not allow the party to work. Yes, no matter what you might identify as the weaknesses of the Oyegun-led executive, but the fact remains that the party is being run from Asorog. Yes. And they are, the, the president just felt now that it is time for him to release the party. That was why. But by the time he has he released the party, mm. the damage has been done. Mm. The crisis in all the 36 states of Nigeria is it's almost bigger than Ashwaju. And I think Ashwaju is being used probably because it was there when the party was formed. But to the extent to which Ashwaju can mold that house that has been systematically destroyed for three years mm -hmm. remains to be seen. But the fact remains that it's unfortunate that at the end of the day, his image and the political uh, uh, thing he has built for himself will be seriously tested by the outcome of the crisis, because the crisis has been allowed to, to wage to for, a very, to fester for a very long time, mm -hmm. to the extent that it is becoming intractable. When you don't have a solid house, in, in 2015 we had a house that was solid. Everybody pushed that into the background and they went to the election, including Nigerians that are not party people. Mm -hmm. you, I could remember, like you said, look, in 1978-79, I paid money as a youth member of the UPN. The crisis had been allowed to, to wage to for, a very, to fester for a very long time, mm -hmm. to the extent that it is becoming intractable. When you don't have a solid house, in, in 2015, we had a house that was solid. Everybody pushed that into the background and they went to the election, including Nigerians that are not party people. Mm. You know, I could remember, like you said, look, in 1978-79, I paid money as a youth member of the UPN in Ogun State, 50 Kobo, whenever we had meeting. The antenna of the UPN, if I play it for you, you'll be shocked that it's better than that of Nigeria. We are so, so committed. As poly agent, we went to the polling station without anybody giving us a dime. As poly agent. So those are the things. But I think the problem with Nigeria is that mm. the moment we resolve to organize the parties based on movement. 
if it's a movement, everybody has a sense of belonging. But these are just uh, uh, parties that are contracted together contest, by money people to, to contest power. There's no ideology again. There's nothing bad in going back to ideology. But you can only have ideology when you have a movement. When you have a movement, people have a sense of belonging. And a money ministry man cannot come from Lagos or Abuja and put 500 million down and we buy the structure of the party and everybody will go to sleep. That is why when they win election, they pocket the party. It was all like uh, Operation Jonathan Must Go, Jonathan Must Go in 2015. It wasn't as if there was something concrete on ground that after the exit of Jonathan, maybe they didn't anticipate the victory. And after the victory, what's, what should happen? So uh, what should happen? So the APC, we can see that the, the party has, took backstage immediately. The president was um, uh, sworn in. And I remember... A PDP BOT member telling me that in some executive council meeting during Olusha Gomba they have to they will have to bring the party um, chairman and you know some big wigs of the party so that they are the ones that we get what the executive what they are about to do and they are the ones that will go and meet the national assembly members that they have this kind of synergy and we are not seeing this synergy in this administration when we are doing a kind of analysis on what the uh, task ahead of Bola Tinobu, we discovered that, look, we need to mend the difference between the executive and even the legislature. To, to reconcile the executive to <laughs> because the Because right now, if there's anything stopping this government, is a rift between the executive and the legislature. Well, if you look at it very well, the problem, what I see is what, what people call burden of victory. The APC is suffering from that thing up to now. And when you look at it, it started immediately. INEC declared President Mohamed Buhari, you know, the winner of the last general election. You will remember that Ashwaju and some party leaders actually wanted to enforce party supremacy. That let's make sure that people that we emerge as principal officers yes. in the House of Representatives yes. and in the Senate are the people that the party, you know, Endorse. actually want. Mm. You remember their own way of mock, mock. election. Yeah. Yeah. So you remember all this. That. Yep. that is from the minds that I experienced in party administration. You may not like this, you may not like that, but these are the processes people, you know, follow. Mm. But the first statement I had from President Momodu President Buhari was, I can work with anybody. I can work with with anybody. anybody. As a Senate president. So this problem started directly from the table from, of President Momodu Buhari. Mm. He followed it up with, I'm for everybody, I'm for nobody. No, and that was, no, that was the first that one. Was the first that was one. even no. the operation speech. Mm. <laughs> I okay, you maybe, remember now. Maybe May 29th, that was the long process. <laughs> but you know, they started this agitation for leadership of the National Assembly before inauguration. They, they have been yes, moved there and there. Of course, of course. So, They've done and when, they, and when it was becoming yes. big, you now to douse the tension that I can work with anybody. I won't mean name names of some of the you know names that were touted then. You know, at the end of the day, President Muhammadu Buhari as far as I'm concerned, didn't provide leadership for the, party. for the party. In fact, at some point, people were criticizing the president that it's like you ate the structure yeah, through which you, you became the president. That it's like that is a rag. That's a, something that we, you know, trying to stain my white garment. The way he was. Then at a point, some of his media eats. I remember Garba. Uh, sure. Garba Shew, for, for example, saying that no, 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 the party doesn't have a, nobody can, no other person is yeah. the national leader of the yeah, party. The party. It's yeah. the president that is national yeah. leader of the party. These are titles that are not in the constitution, constitution of, of the, the party, party that if the press enjoys addressing somebody or some people, national leaders, what is, you are the president of Nigeria. You are not just the national leader of the party. You are the national leader of Nigeria. You, this problem kept on going. Then, when it was time to select or appoint ministers, or appoint, who are the ones that were carried along? So all these problems keep mounting one after another until it got to this stage. 
you will see that today when you ask Ashua Judah, can you pull this thing through? The Ashua Judah, many of us know, believes that uh, no problems, no problem yes. is it's not possible, yes. that he can actually achieve it. And the success, as somebody said some days ago, of that reconciliation or otherwise is what will determine the future of APC. Martin, President Buhari did not hold the hand of John Oegu <laughs> from running the party. <laughs> President Buhari actually concentrated on governance. <laughs> Immediately it was May 29, okay, we leave politics unless it's the father of the nation and the, person, the people that were saddled with the responsibility of running the party, have they given a good account of themselves? Well, well, yes and no. Because you know in our own peculiar kind of presidential system, only one person is in charge. As we said earlier, the president is in charge at national level and the governors are in charge at state level. So when they, as he said, he began this aloofness as soon as he was sworn in. Hmm. You know, after sworn in, they have to do some value allocation. Value allocation, in the sense that they have to make appointments to the board that they are just making now. They have to Two compensate years. some people I, I, that uh, helped them. It's November 2015. Well, I, even, I was just writing a note here. You remember that even when Ashwaju was being addressed as national, uh, national leader she'll, of she'll, the party, she'll, she'll, there was a statement. That, 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 that was what I said. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Madam Kalipa said, who specifically? They said the only one national leader, and the, 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 the president is the leader, and the president didn't lead. You know, these are things that we have covered before. There is the, one of the most powerful caucuses in a presidential democracy is the National Assembly Party Caucus, caucus. normally mm -hmm. headed by the president of the Senate, the speaker, and all those things like that. But you know that the president, the current president of the Senate, has been the one funding, leading doing all sorts of things to the National Assembly Caucus. That is why they hold it, and that is why you mm. can see even the president, uh, chairman the of the yes. yeah, mm. anti-corruption mm. arrowhead that he mm. has, mm. was nominated in 2015, has not been confirmed, mm. and the ruling party has majority. Something is wrong. They have yeah. not been holding the party. We wrote, so many people suggested, we wrote that, look, what is wrong in rejecting somebody? What you do is lobby in the night. Nobody, mm. as uh, Bill, Bill, Bill Clinton says in his own biography, no one says no to the president. No one. If the president calls you, no matter how much you hate him, the, you will go. You will go there. Okay, gentlemen, I have my colleague from um, Kaduna State, uh, that's uh, correspondent, Tessem Akonde. Uh, Tessem Akonde is... Um, uh, uh, giving us the kind of updates on this suspension of Governor Nasser Erifai. Tessem, glad to have you on. Yeah, how are you, how are you doing? Very well, thank you. What's the updates do you, you have for us? Well, the latest is the fact that uh, there is uh, uh, the, the APC operating from the Tafida House, which has been uh, the secretary from where Bantex, who is the deputy governor, you know, I, that the, the, the APC operating from Tafida House has, you know, pronounced that Malam Nasi Erufai remains a party man and is not suspended. We just, uh, uh, that's, that's the latest for now. That's like um, countering what the Akida faction actually proclaimed earlier. Yes, that's countering. And you see, we, I, I asked them what or which faction for, uh, do we believe <laughs> <laughs> and uh, while yesterday the, the, the restoration, group. Come, uh, restoration camp, group. Uh, you know, I asked, who do we believe now? Because they are claiming that they have the, the backing of the National Secretariat. Today, the APC operating from the Tafida House is also claiming that they have the backing of the National Secretariat. <laughs> so both, it's, 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 it's a battle. Uh, from both uh, uh, factions. Tessem, is um, Ashua Jubala Tinubu anywhere close to Kaduna State right now? Because I was told his reconciliation committee is um, um, due to be in Kaduna State anytime from now. Well, the last we checked was uh, he was in Sokoto. Okay. And from Sokoto, we, 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 I engaged people like Sheh Usani yesterday. Okay, yes, I saw a picture of... All of that. They said they can't wait to have him come. They, they appreciate the fact that uh, he is, uh, Aswaju, who is a very senior party person, very experienced, 
is actually heading the reconciliation team. But they actually said it's a bit belated, but they are actually open to have uh, deliberation and, uh, you know, they, they, they are ready for peace and they hope that everybody will, will embrace peace for the party to, 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 to move on. Now, do you see um, Senate, um, Governor Nasir Erufai and Senator Shou Sani and Senator Suleiman Unkui under the same roof and um, meeting with the Reconciliation Committee? I know this is politics. Politics, uh, well, if you ask me, why not? I mean, somebody, a very senior, very experienced, uh, 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 you know, he's a, very, he's a very revered person as far as the APC is concerned. And so, uh, if you ask me, sure, I see them, I see the three of them coming to sit, if not for anything, to respect uh, uh, Senator Bola Ahmed Tinubu and to ensure that, uh, I mean, they better... When they get better, of course, there'll be more development. Now, before I allow you go, Adekunle Yusuf said something earlier. He, he was talking about the, um, the formidability of the People's Democratic Party in Kaduna mm -hmm. State. Right now, we know uh, former uh, chairman of the PDP, McCarthy, is there. We know a lot of people warming up from the People's Democratic Party. So we know it's going to be in the, uh, the interest of the All Progressive Congress to resolve their crisis. Now, how the People's Democratic Party, how are they coming up in Kaduna State? Well, I know there's a lot of cross capitalism going on. OK. <laughs> Uh, there's a lot of uh, the McCarthy fact, uh, factor is also there very strongly. In favor of the PDP? Uh, there have been youth gathering and making a lot of endorsements and all of that. And so the PDP is also putting its house together. Uh, it, 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 all, all the parties, are, of course, other parties are also coming in, the ADPs and other parties are actually, you know, get, get, gaining ground as well. And so it will be very be good for the APC and, and indeed every other party to get all their houses together to have a good fight, uh, uh, you know, during the next election. I want to thank you, uh, my colleague um, from Kaduna State, Tessem Akende. Yes. And you know, gentlemen, we have to wrap this up. Right, you, know, you know, as I was saying, you know, even the, the, the committee itself, the, the, the reconciliation committee, yeah. you know, this thing applies to politicians. There is still no political art to find their minds construction in the, in face. the face, even when they come <laughs> together. Yeah. When they come together, they embrace the, politicians the are very dangerous people because of fundamental issues Interest. that they have had. Interest. The intrigues, personal issues that they want to do, the personal ambition, and they are not talking to themselves. I think the, the ultimate, in the main, is that the president himself, because behind every successful reconciler in chief, there is a strong president. president. Mm. The, the president himself should do some phone calling, should be part of this reconciliation. Mm. If he's not part of this reconciliation, you know that even Asiwaju himself has his issues. He has to reconcile himself with some it's people too. Yes, in the party. <laughs> with the party. Who, and who will do that? <laughs> and don't forget the fact that when the, on, I think a day before the inauguration of the National Assembly, mm. you will see a lot of effort from, you know, Ashwaju. Yes. That before Why the didn't the efforts materialize? Because the president because was not the interested. the president was not involved. Interested. Mm. The he president, was not interested. I will meet, the, it was meant to was come not, to what the what international conference he was center. Not interested. No, I just decided to say not involved. Uh, I, I knew. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Let, let's take this breather. Or two now, but well, let me well, just I, I think, uh, like he said, there's no way you can separate uh, the mind of the president from the issues in the party. Welcome back. If you are just joining us, this is Journalist Hangout. We're reaching you live from our headquarters here in Lagos, Nigeria. And we are looking at the news of the senseless killings in different parts of Nigeria. It's fast becoming a daily feature. As Nigeria struggles to make sense of the Benue situation, the list of states counting their losses continues to swell. Last week, more than 30 people perished in a mindless attack in Zamfara State. Although, unfortunately, the attack didn't 
surprised the governor. That is Abdulaziz Yari. He said the police were tipped, but they ignored their alerts. Reports say the Inspector General of Police, Ibrahim Idris, has deployed additional three units of police mobile force to join the seven units that were deployed and some suspects have been arrested. Could the situation have been avoided? Tunde Abaton. Now, somebody was saying it this morning, I don't know, that um, the cost of life, as in the value of the human life, the way we lose it and the way people, you know, people are killed on a daily basis in the country, like what happened in, was it in Florida, in America? Yes, Just in Florida. Florida yes. How many people? But the bottom line is that when I saw the news, I wasn't quite, you know, surprised or interested because I said, look, in my corridor here in Nigeria, 50, 60, almost on a monthly, yes. weekly 40, basis. 44. Well, I, th I think uh, when, we, when we really look at this country, um, this is an amazing country. Amazing in the sense that a country that is known to be the leader in Africa, that will deploy troops right from 1962 Congo crisis to go to other countries in Africa, Old to the Congo crisis, we have now become a country that is finding it even difficult to help itself. Well, there are three issues to this, uh, to this crisis. Number one, you begin to ask yourself, the governor came out 48 hours before the attack to alert Nigerians, and it was carried by all the major newspapers in Nigeria that there's going to be an attack. Uh, you are now asking yourself, is it a failure of is intelligence? So? Is that so? Is it a failure of intelligence on the part of the police and the security agencies? Number two, is this a failure of the capacity of our security agencies to nip in the bond a warning that was duly given by state governor who is supposed to be the chief security of that state. Is it a question of is it a question of connivance of the security agencies? Definitely it has to be one or all of these three. And if this is the situation we are facing now, probably six months to the primaries of the political parties. Because there is no way you can separate politics from security. If mm. the security value in the country has got into this particular level. You now wonder how we are going to manage the party primaries right from August. Talk less of the election that is going to take place February next year. I think there is something that is seriously wrong with our value system, from the leadership to the security forces to the security agencies. And it has also come to the fore why there is a need for us to reconsider state police in this country. If uh, governors of states has to be the, indeed the chief security officers of their state. Because the governor did warn 48 hours that there's going to be an attack. And the attack came, there was no repulsion, and they carried out their mission. They killed 39 people, and they went away, and they vamoosed. Mm. Life is cheap. It's cheap. So, it's life so is British, cheap. short, yeah, British, and cheap. Mm. Life, yeah, life is cheap. But uh, you know, we have been discussing this, and so many people have been talking about the level of insensitivity mm. that we normally find mm within government now. Mm. Remember, this issue happened on 16th on Friday. There was a meeting in Daura on Saturday mm. of elders and others. And the governor was there? Yeah. Of, uh, yes, they called the APC governors and those that didn't go sent their deputies. Yep. They were in Daura. When this kind of thing, you were just talking, how many people actually died in this uh, school in, uh, in, uh, in Florida? Mm. You see, it's not in, about the number of people, but the value we place on human lives. Mm. It's not the number. The other day in Glenegals, in Scotland, when there was uh, th this problem uh, at the railway station, even the, the chief host herself, the, pri the British Prime Minister, had to leave everybody there to attend to issue. Our leaders should learn to, to sympathize, to, to have compassion and to compassion. respect human lives here. Yeah. That, the meeting they had in, in Daura was totally unnecessary. Un, un, un after, after security, after, after, after the social media was already abused with, uh, with, with, with not stories to even, about this Not thing. to even talk of the meeting alone. Let's say the, if the governor would have been kind enough to excuse himself from that particular meeting, that's, it, it, oh, it, 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 fire on the mountain in my no, house. No, no, it's not, it's, it's not just the governor. It's not just the so governor. The, 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 leader, the leadership of, of this the, country, of the, of the country to be involved. Because look at what just happened in Benue. People have been blaming uh, the leadership. People have been blaming Abuja for not going there. That this okay. same Abuja. Let me quickly take my we, first caller. Binta is calling us from, um, no. from Delta State. Thank you for joining us. Yeah. 
Dimka, go ahead with your contribution. Hello, sir. Yeah. Yes, go Hello, ahead sir. with your contribution. Uh, good, good evening, sir. Good evening, Dimka. Go ahead. Yes, I, please. I want to make a, a little uh, contribution in the issue of uh, air fire. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to contribute. Yeah, I want to contribute in the issue of air fire, Sheusani, Unkui, and uh, Mr. Tinubu to head the reconciliation uh, committee. I want to assure you that Tinubu will do the needful work for the progress of this party. Because we've seen him, we've known him, we know who he is. He has the quality. He is the man that respected all over the world, I can say, not even in Nigeria. But I want to show you that the Erufai and the Shia Usani, I want them to put their mind together. I don't like seeing, I don't like seeing uh, parties fighting exchanging. Because we started in a very good time. So why now things are happening? Let us ask ourselves for God's sake. And, okay. uh, Thank you for your contribution, Dimka. So, yeah. you were making a point before. Yes, yeah, we... I was saying that, uh, you know, you know, the, the other day, we were even at our editorial board meeting when we were thinking, ah, the, 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 the leadership should have uh, mobilized people to go to Benue first before commissioning projects in Nasarawa State. These are political issues. Humanitarian issues. I think the president is here to visit Benue till today. Yes, yes. So he's here to be, visit Benue. And he was in Nasarawa. Uh, Lafia. Lafia is like a stone's throw to yes. Makodi. You, when you get to Lafia, you are very close to Makodi. We don't understand. Maybe the security report is And the security report well, well, is the president of the country. The president of the country. The federal Republic of Nigeria. Of the federal Republic of Nigeria. You can see how the governor of Benue State has been complaining about, even he said that he has invited the president and the president has refused to come. This are those, then again, Zamfara. Something happened. They didn't talk about it. The governor left the place. Everybody they were meeting in Daura. These are issues. People, they, this forms perception of who we are. Even the kind of leadership and say, and say, they, 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 they ask questions about what manner of people are these. They are insensitive. They, they don't, uh, uh, you to use your word, they don't place value on human lives mm -hmm. here. Why? Mm -hmm. And I think these are issues they should consider their ways, the way they consider all these things, because it forms perception and even of who they are. Kuleshi, is it that we, we don't have a caring government or try and play the devil's advocate here? What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, try and look at our leaders <laughs> from the presidency <laughs> to the local government. You don't see passion in them. All of them. They are they not lack. passionate about anything. Generalized. Not all no, of them. No, no, no. I, I, you know what? I, you know. You won't say one that is so passionate about development, about changing Developers. lives. Believe me, about changing no, lives. No. About, oh, come on, let me let me land. Let me land. All our leaders. What happened? Our governors. What happened in Benue is enough to prove my point. A place where seventy-three people were mouth down. Just like that. Well, when they're not at war. And there was no national resentment. You see governors from the same party, Galivanti all over Nigeria, a ruling party. And you say they are passionate about what? They are not. If they have passion, what should happen? The entire leadership of APC should have visited that place. The presidency, all of them, they are, at the point they allowed PDP to be turning the thing to political show. They were the ones going, see what yeah, happened, yes, 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 see yes, what happened, yes, see what happened in Sanfara. The, one of the governors went with Buhari because Buhari lost two relatives. Yes. They now went on a jamboree. Yeah, we if I were the president of Nigeria, I would, I would tell you, don't come to see me. You are not sure of the um, itinerary of the... Before you know it, because by Russia. all of them, you know, flooding to that place, that is another waste of public fund. For each governor to transport himself from their various you know, places to Daura. Because when you're in Casina, <laughs> it's a far to it's it's the hour. No, it's just one hour. Uh, no, oh, one hour. Only you, uh, uh, you forgot <laughs> that we're there together. Uh, 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 one hour with, <laughs> believe me. Casina is just one hour from the hour. <laughs> <laughs> but what, but, <laughs> what, but what, we, what, what, what we are saying, what we are saying, what we are saying, what we are saying, what we are saying in the sense is that you know how to, like, like, Dara is not like Mecca of sort. 
Then you now see our governors, you know, talking to on the TV. Believe me, morning after. these are not yeah, people yeah, 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 who are passionate about anybody. Morning. Okay, let me, let, let me take MC from away. Thank you for calling us. Hello? Hello? Yes, thank you for hanging out with us today. Yeah, that's MC on the line. Okay, MC, go ahead with your contribution. All right, my contribution is this. I believe that APC, the reconciliation committee, as Tinibu has undertaken the task to reconcile the party, I believe his interest is at stake because the wife will definitely become the governor of uh, Lagos State in future. So if the party happens to cry, <laughs> Well, I don't know what MC is talking we are, about. We are discussing the uh, 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 so uh, I know you can even contribute about the first topic, but <laughs> I don't know about the point he made. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so when you look at our leaders, it's not that I try to generalize, but look at them. We need a new orientation to emerge. The set of people that should lead us. The moment. You see, we have talked about monetization of politics. Many of these people go there because they have the financial muscle. That does not mean that we can produce better people if the plane, I mean, if the level, plane the level is truly, you know, made plant. plain for everybody. Mm -hmm. right. But that's not what we are doing. All right, gentlemen, we have to wrap up on this. So how can we put an end, especially this cattle rustling, because some p segment of them, some people, they've actually accosted me and they told me that you guys are buyers. I said, why? He said, the way we reported the uh, Benway massacre, that we've not reported the Zamfara thing the way we're meant to report it. Well, I think uh, the, everything is uh, based on security issues. I think uh, the president should, should advise himself better on how to run an all-encompassing security network for Nigeria. Martin. No, definitely, you know that uh, this thing, we always talk about failure of intelligence, failure of failure even of our passion, That's failure right. of this, failure of this thing. And I think the, the, the government of the day has a responsibility to assure Nigerians that we are secure, we are safe in their hands. All right, moving on now. You might be right if you assume that the People's Democratic Party is fighting hard to remain relevant ahead of the 2019 poll. You might also be right to say there are ongoing reconciliation moves just like in the APC to heal the party from its various wounds. Well, you are not the only one who is optimistic about the PDP. Former military president Ibrahim Badamasi Babangida shares your view. Over the weekend, the elder statesman received members of the party's national working committee and expressed satisfaction that the party's rebranding efforts is IBB right in his appraisal. Let's look at it. Babangida belongs to the People's Democratic Party. He's a member of the card carrying member of the People's Democratic Party. And um, he was actively involved in the last convention, despite the fact that he wasn't there you know, physically, but we know he's always been involved in the People's Democratic Party. So at any given opportunity, he has, you know, always, he's always saying it that he wants PDP to do well ahead of the 2019 election and so that PDP can take over from the All Progressive Congress. Now, looking at the new structure of the People's Democratic Party led by Uche Secondos, have you seen any, you know, spark of kind of promises? First of all, when you look at uh, General Ibrahim Bapangida, he loves PDP. Mm. Nobody can the deny way that. I'm he loves mm. PDP. The way he claims to love Nigeria. He wants PDP to do well. But it's unfortunate it's no longer relevant in the PDP. It's no longer it's relevant. No longer, it's not as powerful as you see, when our passenger was in the PDP, in or out of office. You know, he wedded enormous powers. Mm. Even till now, uh, even despite not being there, they still, they yeah, still, they still want to. Yeah. And that's why we say, only giving opportunity to deny them, uh -huh. it denies them, but <laughs> they still consult him. So, but the same cannot be said of Babangida. 
if you don't believe it, look at the last convention they had. All the people he supported fell by the wayside. Hmm. That's not a sign somebody who we you know is popular with the party. But beyond, beyond all that, what we have today, whether Babangida is popular within the party or not, is the governors of the PDP that yeah, are in charge, is? directly in charge of that party. With some wiki and I of Ayesha. Believe me. Precisely. I decided not to mention him. It's the mm -hmm. governors of domain. the PDP <laughs> are fully, completely in charge of that party. Oh, you're yeah, saying governors, you, you know, you're talking about know. 12. I'm saying you know, two but <laughs> PDP governors. <laughs> Don't rule out, you know, the Jetta State governor. It's also well, a, Patrick it's Okua, of course, it's of also course. A deep pocket. I'm okay. very, very, yes, if it's you strong. know. He was the chairman of the organizing committee. If you know the kind of convention popularity you know, he commands in the data, mm -hmm. you know that. So the fact that some of them are not the outspoken type, you may want to say uh, it's only wikis and uh, fire share. No, it's not only them. So when you look at the PDP today, whatever Uchi Secondos is doing is just as the what you prompt that, oh, why not do this? Must get clearance. Because, yes, because they put him there. Hmm. And Absolutely. He, and he has to do... With the unity the list, the famous unity list. And even if you look at the PDP, it's not as, it's not as fractious as the APC. No. They manage it has the, suffered. It has suffered mm, a the lot post of convention, this, um, It has suffered a lot well of... Managed. The ruling APC is afraid to do what the opposition party has done. Despite the fact that they have the party that cannot have convention yeah, after three years. That, that is why you see an APC who is in you know, opposition to itself at the, at the National it's Assembly, at this or that, that the APC is not enjoying the benefit. I'm 100% sure about it, but it's not enjoying the benefit of being power. We are talking about the PDP now. Yes. Let okay. me quickly take <laughs> Joseph. Joseph. Joseph is calling from our papa. Thank you for joining <laughs> us, Joseph. <laughs> yes, thank you, gentlemen. I sincerely appreciate you guys. Thank, Thank you, you, Joseph. You're welcome. But please, permit me. Yes, please. I sincerely appreciate you guys. Permit me to draw you back a while. I okay. want to quickly. contribute on the insensitivity quickly. of Joseph. our leaders in governance to the values of life in Nigeria. I just want to draw one comparison. When the son of Mr. President had accident, uh, that's not fair enough, Joseph. I won't allow that. Can you hear me, Joseph, please? no, I won't take this comment. Joseph, please, you know, there are some things that are just off the cuff for me here. Yeah. I, I don't like that comparison. <laughs> I am Martins, yes. we're talking about the People's Democratic Party. Yes. Uh, you know, the People's Democratic Party, yes, you know, they are in opposition. They were in power for 16 years. And you know, if you read the views of serious people and the people, not just noisemakers, people do not have confidence in both parties at the moment. Yes. That was why the view of a former president who, the carried popular, much weight. popular letter writer, letter. Uh, carried this weight <laughs> about the threat <church> force. <laughs> because you know why people are blaming APC? Most father. people are not <laughs> praying for <laughs> return for of PDP. PDP. Yes. Okay. You yes. understand? Yes. Why people are angry with APC? So please do well. People are not saying, let us go back to PDP. PDP. So mm. they, they, they have this, 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 uh, this, this kind Sanism. of image. Sanism. This mm. image. They, they want to do some damage control. Mm. But politics is not like that. And the way they have been doing this thing, even, you know, the convention that they had, you know, they, they paper yes, the off the over, over the some crack. cracks. Mm. And uh, so many of the people from different sections are still aggrieved about the outcome of that the convention profession. that produced secondus. So I, I think they still have that. But as he said, as we are here now, they, they, they seem to be uh, just uh, going along. They, they seem to be just uh, getting by to ensure that something happens in 2019. Hmm. They would like the crisis in, uh, in uh, APC, APC to continue because some of them will say, hey, I see why Julie is just, uh, what, say, what, of Chris Garuba's, uh, what of Chris Garuba's committee? What, there, is another, there was another person who also headed another committee. A, a PDP people were saying that. 
and they won't like peace within APC so that they can take advantage. But own, Nigerians own are not impressed by the kind of mediocrity, the kind of lack of seriousness, mm -hmm. lack of passion, insensitivity that you find around. Because mm -hmm. PDP has not shown any spark, mm -hmm. any creativity mm -hmm. as, as that a, will enable uh, people to opposition party. Party. Yeah, party. The way idea. you have uh, Malema, uh, mm. of, uh, Honorable uh, Malema, uh, uh, Malema uh, uh, South Africa. Uh, South Africa. You <laughs> see the vibration, you see the research, <laughs> you see the product of research and what they do. Intelligence. <laughs> the, the passion with which like, they work out. Today is 19th of February. Yep. So by this time next year, by this time next year, would have done the presidential election, election, conducted the presidential election. Hopefully, if the it National is, Assembly, if that sequence is not altered, altered. three days, yeah. you would have done it, you know. Now, less than a year to the presidential election. We've covered the political bits for a yeah. long time. Yes. And yes. when you look at the, uh, General Babangida is saying, President Buhari, don't run. Yep. General Lusha is saying, President Buhari, don't run. Yes. PDP is the party they are saying on their own, don't run. But out of all the people that have been saying, don't run, don't run, don't run, we've not seen any presidential aspirants that would like to slog it out with President Muhammadu Buhari uh, if eventually he wants to come out. That is the, uh, the irony of the whole situation. It is unfortunate. Don't for run, Nigeria, don't run. Is his democratic it is right to it is run? It is unfortunate for Nigeria that at this particular stage, the PDP that was in power for 16 years. They were not used to be in opposition. And it will now take the person of a former president to begin to teach them how to be in opposition, how to be passionate about those people who are suffering one pain or the other. Having said that, I just also think that the committee set up by President Buhari was an initiative of what President Obasanjo did. In the heart of President Buhari, he had, permit me to say, to appear he had no regard for the party that threw him up. And probably he would have wished for the APC to be replaced by another party in his mind. So that informs They're not in his mind anyway. Eh? You are not in his mind. To worry. Uh, well, I'm not saying his mind, mind. But yeah. it will appear as if uh, <laughs> okay. this reconciliative effort is, is, is just, <laughs> it's just a last minute effort to save the party. If President Basso had not done his letter writing, perhaps the APC would have still carried along. The way they have been doing, yeah, and okay, the non uh, uh, the national attitude. Mm. Unfortunately for Nigeria as a people, it will appear as if the opposition will be much more divided because we have not seen anybody that will emerge that will give serious challenge mm. to the credibility problem that the uh, uh, Buhari has over all of us. Even the coalition, well, even the co coalition. coalition has gone probably down a little bit. So I think it's unfortunate for Nigeria as a country that. Of all the 65 political parties we have, you have not seen anybody that will come as a strong force, in spite of the failings of the APC, in spite of the inability of the APC to manage its victory well, and in spite of the inability of the PDP to play its role as a political party. We have 63 other parties that were registered by INEC. Mm. Nobody has been able to come out and throw a challenge as a replacement for these two parties that have gradually become leprous. To the Nigerian political Martin, system. That is, on that. that is very unfortunate. Very but there is still time. Okay. Uh, you know, there is still time. Uh, two weeks in, in politics. It's a long time. How, 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 how did they, even the, the coalition that brought uh, uh, APC, uh, President uh, Muhammad Buhari to power, how did they ask you what you know, were fighting for? that momentum as far back as, as 2013. 30. 2013. They started in the, Yeah, they started they in 2013. Started By 2014, the euphoria, they, they it started was all over. February, mm. Mm. They, they, they started, mm -hmm. but you know that they didn't gather the kind of uh, momentum they were talking about until a few months to the election. Because the people, there were doubts here and there until they, they moved in. What am I saying? It is, people should not feel that because uh, we don't have serious political parties now and they themselves are complacent. Yes, people feel that APC and PDP should be serious enough, should be able to reorganize, be born again, and do <laughs> something that will impress people. But what they are doing now is not. And do not write off this third force, or fourth force. I, I don't believe you Quickly, we have to go. Uh, I will go by the view of the economist you know, on Nigeria this week. Okay. The title is Baba, please go slow, demand some more. He said that uh, for now the opposition is virtually dead. 
Okay, that's and the that's goal. Tune up at all. Oh, thank you for being part of this program. <laughs> Martin Alaja, thank you. <laughs> and Adikuli Yusuf Kuleshi. And that's it on Journalist Standard today. Join us tomorrow for another interesting episode of the program. You can watch the repeat broadcast tonight at 11. You can also watch Journalist Standout. That's on our platforms showing on the screen. And you can also catch us on YouTube. That's youtube.com slash TVC News Nigeria. Our feedback channel is Journalist Hangout at TVC News.tv. I'm Ayodili Uzubakun. Bye for now and God bless Nigeria.